So from the thumbnail and the title, you guys should probably know what this unboxing is for. You should know that I got a brand new Nike ID. And from this jacket, you should probably know what's inside this box. And which box? This box right here. Nike by you, or should I say Nike by Squin TV? What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the page. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the episode, the TV channel, brand new series. What we are doing? We are talking about shoes. Whew. <laughs> Welcome back to the page, guys. And on this episode of Squin TV, I got a, a pretty cool unboxing. Now, I ordered these shoes, I want to say, a month ago. Like, legit, I ordered it a month ago. I have yet to get it. I was, I was kind of upset. So every year, Pendleton and Nike do a collab, and it's always a Nike ID. You could do it on the Air Max 90s, the Air Force 1s, and now they had it on the 270 React. Me, however, I picked the Air Max 90s, as you can see. I actually missed out on the first release, and when it restocked, my good friend Sean the Don hit me up, text me right away, yo, Squid, hurry up, go get your shoes. And I literally ran to my laptop, customizing. Do you want to know the crazy part? I actually recorded myself customizing the shoe. And up to this day, McKeon uploaded the video. I've been trying to upload this video for a month, for one whole month, just to get it out to you guys, to give you guys the experience of how you can actually make a Nike ID shoe. And if you guys don't believe me, look at this. If you can see, it's legit right on my phone. I've been trying for a while to put this video up on I on IG, on YouTube, and it just wasn't uploading, it just wasn't working. So next time, I'm gonna use my camera and actually record me doing it, instead of screen recording on my phone. As you see, the shoes are already unboxed, but let's get into the montage. So I had to dim down the light a little bit so you guys can actually see the shoes in hand. So here we have it, the Nike Air Max 90s pendant. Having these shoes in hand, I honestly gotta tell you guys, it's pretty great. The material is awesome. Grabbing the shoes right here, you can see that Nike did not hold out when it comes to quality. I know on a lot of Nike ID shoes, you're gonna expect glue stains messed up, and you honestly don't know if you're gonna get what you actually customize. So when I finally got these in the mail, Jesus Christ, I was happy. Let's start off with the outsole. We're gonna have a translucent blue. Now this is the first time I've seen it and I was gonna do gum, but something changed my mind. Moving up to the midsole, you're gonna see we're gonna have that nice sail colorway and sail for the fall and winter, you cannot go wrong. The air unit now is actually a different color. I was gonna put red and I was like, nah, let me change it up. And I actually made it gold. So as we make our way to the upper, you can see the edging on the shoe is really rigged, kind of raw. That's what Nike calls it, so that's what I did. It gives you that 3D printing. So here's a close-up look at the toe box. As you see, the side of the shoe is actually sticking out, and you can see that nice premium level. You have that same blue plaid going down from the tongue all the way to the toe box with the cream laces just making it contrast. Moving to the back of the shoe, you're gonna get that nice, uh, classic, classic look Nike Air in the back just to bring the shoe all together. Not only did they come right in time for the winter, they came right in time for the top 10 list. Do you think this will make my top 10 list? Comment down below. How do you feel about Nike ID in general? When was the last time you made a Nike ID shoe and what was it? Did it take a one month to come, two months? Cause I hear a lot of people saying, yo, it take long, they didn't get it in time, you know? If you had the opportunity to customize these shoes, would you have made it the whole thing, one plaid color? Would you switch it up? Would you do what I do and just add plaid to the toe box, to the sides? Let me know, comment down below. And guys, remember, I do have a giveaway given out. Yes, 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 this is going to be the time when I talk about the giveaway. Yes, guys, so I've been talking about this giveaway for a while now, hashtag road to 500, because I wanna to get to 500K. And I am gonna be giving away a $100 gift card, Visa gift card, to anybody who win. So please, 
Comment down below, hit the like button, and hit subscribe if you're brand new. Welcome to the PH Dogs Wall Guan. If you're old, yo, hit that like button and share this video with your friends and tell them to subscribe so you could win $100. Why not? But enough about that and back to the shoes. I said what I have to say. Everything about the shoes is great. I was actually happy that they did not cancel this because I know with the CFMP or whatever those are called, the Cactus Jack flea market <laughs> when those came out they were canceling orders and men don't know oh you cancel a uh, customized order but a lot of people they haven't been customizing all right you guys are just buying whatever is already pre-customized and then gonna sell it on sockets like what really are going on dogs like yo, stop it if you don't want the shoes don't customize it your hype beast is killing the sneaker culture we have to switch it up and talk more proper so one can understand. The customized shoes for these, they sold out mad quick and I was pissed. Just like the Levi's collection. Every shoe from the Levi's collection that I've seen so far is on StockX and Go. I don't know how, I don't know why, but if you customize a shoe, make it customizable for you. If you don't like it, then I guess you could sell it. But if you're only doing it just for sell, y'all kill the vibes. Y'all kill the culture. This right now, I see nobody on feet, but everybody has it on StockX. Wagwan, are you guys are annoyed just like me? Do you feel like customizable shoes should even be put up on StockX or GOAT? Comment down below and let me know. For me, I'm gonna say no. If it's a Nike ID, it shouldn't be on StockX. Like StockX should block that. But hey, who am I besides a guy who reviews shoes? Once again, big shout out to Nike. Thank you for Pillington for doing this collab every year. Trust me, next year, if you guys do it, I will be collecting it and then I get to do a comparison. Because every year they switch up the color. So now that I got one, I could compare it to next year's. Hopefully they have green. Because the green one was about two years ago. And that one was pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> All right, guys. Love, manas, and always, always respect. Stay tuned for the next video that's coming up. Love you.